about this, man. <laughs> exactly, you said it, Torgal. Damn. I'm down two high potions and one stone skin. That's alright. Make do. Oh, maybe one of these will be it. Nope. Dude, this is crazy. Okay, so we're at the outside then, I guess. Okay, now I'm full on high potions. He's here. I can feel him. Okay, okay. Wait a minute. That statue. <gasps> Why? The blade must ever feed if her edge is to remain keen. For these worthless creatures. They are nothing. Weak from the moment of their conception, ever longing for power not theirs to command, they turn unfailingly upon themselves. Like sheep, they roam in filthy flocks, eager to trample those few gifted a fleece of gold. Or that they might feel contentment with their pitiful existence. Prejudice and persecution, severance and strife, every earthly wrong springs from the malice in men's hearts. Malice born of the pain and suffering that is free will. Its corruption is gnawed at your being from the very moment of your birth. You're wrong. It is no corruption. It is who I am. Every choice I make, right or wrong, gives me reason to carry on. And carry on I shall. Not as a puppet, but as a man. Which are you? <laughs> there was a time I too thought those the only choices. What? Long ago, God granted man the gift of magic. And with that gift did he build great civilizations. Yet over time, man lost sight of the gift's true meaning. Stepping from the path of shared prosperity to one of avarice. He abandoned his creator for sword and flame, and through his folly, beckoned the blight. Yet, there were those few who refused to turn their eyes from the heavens. And they prayed to God that he might lead them back to righteousness. And the Lord, he did answer. Before the worthy shall the gates of paradise open. And so did I spread my arms to the ether, 
and cast my soul upon its gentle waters. I gave myself unto him. Proven, the Lord charged me thus. If your kind are to find salvation, they must be made to serve. You see, paradise lies but a single step away. Could we only take it? Could we only leave our transgressions behind? For none save the pure of heart and mind may set foot in the new world. I will save us. But it all begins and ends with you. You are the key, Mythos. And with this humble offering shall I prove my faith once more. So you forsook your kingdom. You forsook yourself to serve. Tell me, how is that living? <laughs> What you seek to provide is not salvation. It's anything but. Life is about always having a choice. Take that away, and we might as well be dead. Very well. Come then. Show us the strength of you your shall will. Here we go. It's not the strength of my will that should worry you, but the weakness of yours. I gotta time this right. Now, 
chose you to serve as his vessel, and you cling to this foolish notion of hope when there is none. <laughs> I think I'm doing what he wants me to do, though. But I cannot be defeated. You admitted defeat the moment you turned your back on us. When you turned your back on the truth, Barnabas. We are not as weak as your god believes! No... to be me. <laughs> oh, I just got a haircut. No. <laughs> oh, no. 
it be you have made a weapon of your weakness? <laughs> My apologies. You are not the fool I took you for. And so it ends. No! Oh. Tell me you are tired, Mythos! Oh, man. Your stubborn defiance has stirred my long becalmed heart, filling it with a joy that I have not known for generations! I had thought the tantalizing kiss of self-indulgence a dream forever out of reach! And now that its sweet ruin courses through my veins, I shall not be quick to relinquish it. Dude, what? Show me your work, Mythos, that I might revel in it! Oh, man. Okay. Spreading my seed, I thought no in the wrong direction. <laughs> ah. Ow. Ow. God, get out, get out, get out.
Oh my god. <laughs> Out of there! Ugh. Why won't you die? <laughs> well, the day is at an end. Wow, you got to blink. We both know the truth. It is I who stand victorious, my will that prevailed. Your will. No. It was his. Clive Rossfield. He missed. Oh. Okay, I don't know what was going on in chat. <laughs> I've gotten all into that. Well, I'll, I'll see after this, though. You see there.
Been there. Perhaps there is strength in will. Would that I had not relinquished my own. <laughs> oh, I don't know. I got a bad feeling, man. Like a real bad one about this. You relinquished nothing. What was it? If not will that made you strive for a new world. Strive to win your master's approval. I... Oh. You were shown a fantasy. And you chose to believe it. But you were wrong. There is no world. But the one we live in. world that world is worth saving even if it means killing a god This is what I was worried about. This, yeah. Oh, Torgal, he knows. Fulfill our destinies, just as the Lord's Mother Crystals have fulfilled theirs. Come, Clive Rossfield, take what is rightfully yours. Become one with God. No. Oh. Oh. goes at long last salvation I'm coming home God, here we go. Show yourself! Face me! How does it feel to consume your rival's strength? To gorge yourself on their being? To edge step by trembling step ever closer to the divine? With or without a will, you are still but a vessel. Our vessel. Behold, how your body shudders in anticipation of its fate. Oh, shit. Oh, it's not yours yet. No. Come then, O oh wayward child. We shall await you upon the back of the first worm. There, all shall end and begin again. On the back of the first worm?
Dude. Oh, wait. like 